Well, today we are announcing an Inmasat first and a world first. It's the extension of Global Express into the Arctic region on a seamless basis. It'll come to, as no surprise to anyone that uh, the conditions in the Arctic are changing, and that's allowing uh, greater use for aviation, uh, for maritime, uh, for oil and gas uh, exploration, and especially for government. Well, our customers already benefit from the world's only global mobile broadband system, Global Express. What this allows them to do is extend those capabilities uh, for their needs in the Arctic region. As uh, Peter just said, aircraft transiting the northerly routes uh, who need their passengers to be connected, ships using the new trade routes uh, who want to be smart ships, and of course governments uh, and energy companies for whom the Arctic region is of huge uh, geopolitical importance. Well, customers today who have GX uh, will be able to seamlessly use uh, what we're calling GX-10, uh, the new series of Arctic spacecraft. And uh, because it's part of GX, they will be able to use the same services they have today. But as they move further north, the service uh, conditions will actually improve over what they see. Uh, that'll be especially true for uh, the users with uh, new generation of terminals, uh, things like uh, phased arrays. Well, a long-term strategy is to keep Global Express at the forefront of its markets. Um, today, it is without question uh, the finest mobile broadband network on the planet. With the investments that we have recently made into GX789, we've delivered more capacity, more agility, more capabilities. With GX10 here, 10A and 10B, for the first time we're moving out of a geostationary arc into new complementary orbital capabilities and we're extending coverage into the Arctic. So we're keeping Immosat absolutely at the forefront of our industry. Inmarsat has always been technology differentiated and as part of the new Inmarsat 7 series uh, these spacecraft will have the same sort of digital uh, programmability that our new generation of geospacecraft have as well. So it's all part of a uh, roadmap to keep us ahead worldwide.